All right, we are here, gang. Barber Vintage Museum. And in case you're wondering what days they're open and what times they're open, here you go, you can pause that and have a look. And I already got my tickets. They're $16.50 with tax. And wow, look at that. That's some cool stuff. They've got souvenir shop here. It's the entrance. Super, super cool. Look at those Honda Gold Wings. Not Gold Wing, I don't know if that's a Gold Wing, but man, that is cool. Look at these old school bikes here. Indian Harley. Honda BMW K1. Look at that, my great grandfather for my bike. And what else do we have here? Triumph, Ducati. Look at this, Yamaha and Motoguzzi up there. Got a nice little Formula One car all the way up. This is so cool. Oh, look at this, they have the Porsche experience happening in the background. We're gonna go check that out real quick and then go to the fifth floor and look at this Lotus. Check this out, classic Lotus. Look at all these bikes, fantastic. Check this out, Hashim. I'm going down. Yeah, let's go, let's go down. Let's make our way down first and then we'll go. We'll go all the way to the top. Nice. Look at all these bikes, man. Look at that. Those, this is a Honda VFR, the white one. Man, they've got everything here. Look at the Buell. Never even seen the Buells like this. It's the it's a Buell, man. It's a Buell, my bad. It's a Buell. It's a Buell. Look at that. We should come here for nice. Track day. Check that out. Check out the fake cop and tiger back up there. Hey, uh, Ooh, man, is this this lift is huge. Well, that's why. That's, why that's, that's right. Yeah. So go down to one. He said. Uh, right at the bottom. Yeah. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Man. I would love to have, I would love to have like every single one of these bikes in my garage. Look at that. You and everybody else. Yeah, right? Man, look at this. Super cool. Really, really cool. This is going to take more than an hour. I thought it was going to be a quick trip, but... Not true. This is going to take more than one hour and yeah we do have two before they close it's just that the porsche experience closes here soon and wanted to check that out real quick check it out can you hear that doesn't make you dizzy not sure what will I don't even know if you can stand on it yes, um, yes you can look at that that's like super cool man <laughs> you know you think you're pretty you've got all the balls in the world but when you <laughs> look at stuff like this it makes you kind of like what yeah, you just don't look down man yeah you just don't <laughs> look down <laughs> I can do it <laughs> nice some more cars coming through. Yeah, that's cool, man. This is some cool stuff. Look at that. Let's go inside and look at the museum. All right, so we're gonna start off on the 
fifth floor. I don't know, man. I'm gonna start off on the fifth floor and make our way down. All right, out of the elevator, fifth floor. Look at all these cool bikes. Super nice. This is crazy looking Nike. Apparently, it drives like one regular bike. Though. Oh, sure. Yeah. Look at this. Gilera? Gilera? I haven't even heard of these bikes. This one, this is, look at this, man. This is the kind of bike I like. I would like to own one day. Look at this beautiful Indian, man. Doesn't that look good? This is the R60. This is what I want. It's an R51. R51? Oh. All right, get your facts straight, man. Okay, get my facts straight. I'm sorry. I didn't have my facts straight. You know, not like he knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's right here r51 but the r60 is very Not similar it's similar if they have one here you wouldn't you know i mean unless you're like a super duper you know expert on the old r's to a guy like me i would know it's not you know wouldn't know the difference is look at this man 1200 zrx what is this from the 70s? Read the thing. What does it say? Is it from the 70s? Looks like the 70s. What? This. This one? Yeah. Doesn't look like a 2002 model. Are you sure you're not reading? Yeah. God, that looks like it's from the 70s, man. Like wrong on all the accounts. Check this out. I didn't know they had this kind of bike, RR350, Harley. Moto Guzzi. Honda 300. Look at this. You know, back home we had the CG125 and that was like a heavy duty bike. Look at this, Berea, Berea? Yeah. Oh, look at that. What does that even mean? Uh, uh, it's definitely not all-wheel drive, right? It's probably like the Quattro, Quattro valves. Four. Yeah, it probably has four valves. Yeah, some of these bikes I've never heard of. Look at this, like this Kagiva. <coughs> Why does that look like a Ducati 996? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Must be one of those, yeah, it's basically a Ducati rebadged as a Kagiva, I guess. Mito 125. Oh, this was the bike to have back in the day. Super Hawk. Nice. Yeah, look at this, man. This is a bike by Maserati? What? Look at that. Maserati? too much fun here I'm gonna go ahead and look at some of these bikes and then maybe take some pictures TL 1000 geez I've never heard of these bikes 1997 fuel injected that must be a, a pretty good bike I had a 04 CBR and that was the first year of it being fuel injected so Ducati Ducati Performante Ducati Performante Look at this man If you know if, if that kept on going up it looked like a that's like the perfect Christmas tree I would want in my house right Yeah I bet you this is the R60 Yeah <laughs> See it looks almost the same maybe it has a bigger tank 
Oh, look at these, man. Oh, I love this look right here. This post-war era bike right here. Look at this one, man. R4. I would love to own this bike. Look at that. Beauty. Beauty. Oh, little Honda Scrambler. That is a beauty, isn't it? Look at this, man. I'd love to have a Christmas tree like this. R50 right here. Nice. Awesome. Look at that Ducati. Check that one out. Ducati 200, I think. Nice. Norton, look at that. Classic. Classic Norton right there. Motus. This is like supposed to be some ridiculously expensive bike, I think. Motus. This is cool right here. Christini all wheel drive. I can believe that on this one. Oh, Check this awesome. sucker out. That is awesome. Now, if I was living up north, this is something I would want to have. Check that out. really cool look at that sucker nice I'm not into like motocross but that is one one bike I would like to have all right check that out Moto Guzzi California it's a good looking bike oh man these BMWs are just killing me not not because I have a BMW and I'm a big fan. It's just I always love these bikes that look like they're from the war era, you know, the World War II era bikes or post-war era bikes. I love that look. If you remember the Harley Nightster, they had a 2008. In 2008, I bought a Harley Nightster only because it looked like it came straight out of a factory from uh you know right after the war so uh it's called the kawasabi i guess you don't yeah man these are fabrication skills look at this one man look at this cat look at this caterpillar bike that's crazy look at that wheel look how deep that thing is Oh, this is cool. Check this out. Doesn't that look like a actual like a tractor right there? Yeah. And you know, it kind of looks like a bulldozer tracks. The way they've done the chain, that's pretty neat. Although it's fake, but it looks pretty cool. Look at this Lakewood Special. No idea what that is, but nice custom bikes. Okay, this is the bike that started. That, that pretty much uh, secured Honda's future, wasn't it? Look at this. Honda Cub. This is, do you know this to, to this day, this is the most selling vehicle of all time. Because of Indian Pulsar? Probably because of China and every, every country. China makes their own. Yeah, I'm China sure. Buy Honda. I'm sure, and China wasn't going to buy any Japanese stuff back then yeah. anyway. But yeah, this is the most selling. Look, it says uh, because of all the third world countries uh, and uh, 20, over 27 million have been produced, but I don't know when this note was written. Look at this weird looking bike. Looks cool though. Nice look at that Honda 
CB750. Oh man, look at these pipes. I love these. Look, it's kind of like those pipe masters. Oh man, if there's one bike I want to take home, it would probably be either the R60 or this CB750. Look at that. That's a lie. I'm sure there's more bikes I would love to take home. Nice. V Max. Classic V Max. I'd love to have a holster like that on my bike, you know? Just kind of strolling, going to the mall. MV Augusta. Oh, look at this Triumph. I have not seen a Triumph like this before. It's called the 21 1958 model. Look at that. This must be the Buell Lane. Look at that. That's crazy. RR 1200. Look at that. That's cool. I used to like Buell bikes quite a bit. It's a shame that their partnership ended and Eric Buell went on a separate way, but I think he's. Uh, I don't think he's having a whole lot of success on his own as well. I'm trying to find the bike that I had. There it is. Exact same color. Let me go. Let me turn around, go back. Same bike, same color. Firebolt XB12R. Look at that. Brings back some memories. Had the same exact bike and color. It was cool, you know. It was not a bad looking bike. It turned on a dime because of the short wheelbase, but felt like you were sitting in a Harley. It had the Sportster motor in there. Oh, look at this. These are the new EBRs. 2014 model. Nice looking bike. Pannonia. Pannonia TLB 250. Guys, ladies, if you're impressed that I know some of the names of these bikes, don't be. Because I am reading... I am pretty much reading the, the paper on these podiums before I approach them, so I sound like an expert, <laughs> not really. Oh, look at this weird one, Harley Davidson Sprint. Nice, different, small, I like this. I definitely like the VFRs. Oh, I just couldn't find a clean one. Wanted to get one for myself for touring purposes, but eh, maybe next time. Cool carts here. Little. It's just like a micro bikes. Cushman scooters. Look at this. Classic. What the hell is this? Valmobile. Look at this. This is crazy. This is what the this is what all the crazy stuff Jap Japan was coming out of. Look at this from this box right here. Opens up to that right there. That is cool. Man, that is cool. 49 cc. I mean, I think the Cushmans were cool, pretty. There's one right there. But as soon as you come up to the Italians, man, it's just a different look. This right here just reminds me of, of a Vespa. This. Nice. Micro bikes right here. Look at this. Is this Bimotas? Bimotas, I think. Yep. Look at this. 
Honda SS100. Look at all these other bikes. I wonder what they are. Bandits. It just says Bandit something. I wonder if it's the same bike, just custom built. Pretty sure it's the same bike, just custom built different ways. Pretty cool stuff. This classic Kawasaki. Double overhead camshaft V8. What is this? 1600 V8, 1974. Air cooled V8 bike. Look at that. That's crazy. 150 horsepower back in 1974. That's just nuts. Man. Oh, later they uh, <laughs> brought it down to V6 1300s. Okay, well, thanks. Man, talk about a Widowmaker. Harleys. Harleys. More Harleys. Uh, more Harleys. I had the V Rod. V Rod muscle. What's that? Sportster, what kind of Sportster? Yamaha, Kawasaki, that's the new Royal Enfield. Himalayan, I think it's called. Cool, cool, look at that. I wanted to see that bike, but they've closed it off for an event. It's the Ducati. What is it, the 916? It's gotta be the 916. Oh, it's the Race Center version, look at that. Nice. Oh, look at this. Look at all these race bikes. Oh, the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Oh, man, look at this. Does this not look cool or what? Man, look at these. 70s era right here. 69. Look at this one. Oh man, bikes just looked so cool back in the days, didn't they? I just think they looked much better than... Well, I mean, bikes now look good too. I, I can't say they look much better than than today's bikes, but man, got a soft spot for these bikes, I'll tell you. Oh, I've got some motocross stuff here too. I'm not into the motocross stuff, but in case if you are, here's a few of them right here hey look at that that's pretty cool this is the one where <sighs> power to the person who sits on this side or stands over here man take some major cojones man look at that what the heck is that it's like it's got a jet engine in there man just look at that front oh it's the same thing okay it's the same kind of event, man. Like I said, power to the person who sits or stands on the side over here. Man, look at that bike. It's oh, crazy. Sidecar racing, look at that. Mm. Majestic Eagle. Look at that bike. Man. Drag bikes right here. Cool. Moto Guzzi. Sangless. Never heard of these bikes. Look at this one. AJS. fairing off and that's with the fairing on Dresda Triumph Matchless now I have to say man some good looking bikes I wonder why they they don't exist anymore that 
British bike right there. Triumph Dres Dresda, Dresda, I think. Oh, it's a Harley MV. Nice looking. 60s, 70s. You notice the 60s, 70s had all had the same theme. Man, I tell you what, if it had a couple of disc brakes here on the front and the back, this would look like a a new Bonneville, but it's not. There's a 61 TR5 R. Yamaguchi. Ever heard of that? Sounds cool. Kind of sounds like a aftermarket pipe. Hey, what do you got? Yamaguchis? No, man. Got Yoshimuchis. Yoshimuchis. Ducati 750. Classic. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. W2000. The rotary motor, look at that. Wankel 2000. Nice. BSA, Triumphs, another Cushman, Royal, Elf, Royal Enfield, look at these BSAs, this is a gold star, but man, look at this, Rocket 3. Thruxton. Velocette, Velocette, Thruxton, hmm. American Eagle Renegade, Man. nice, oh look at this, Honda Dream, Honda Dream, 1965, BSA, 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 I don't know why I feel like saying that, look at this, Triton, kind of looks like, kind of looks like the Norton, Norton logo, font style. Looks like the Triumph, the Norton, all had a similar font. Isn't that crazy? Norton Commando. Love it. Duo Glide 1961. See, this is the kind of bikes I like. Look. Oh, there's another one of my favorites. Well... I guess this must be a similar company to BMW. DSK. It looks like this was a copycat from Japan. They even copied the logo. The rotors. DSK. This is an identical copy to the BMW R bike. Wow. I wonder if this would have been cheaper than a BMW. Sure, but it would have been more, well, I can't say that it would have been more reliable. Those BMW bikes were reliable, I'm sure. Okay. Okay, cool, cool bikes. R60, US version. Oh, oh this is so exciting. Love it. Marusho Magnum. In case you're wondering, Marusho Magnum, where's that bike made in? It says right there, made in Japan. Have you heard of this bike? I haven't. This is what you call a well used bike right here, ST4 Ducati. Love it. Look at this. 
this? BMW? What's the other one? Both BMWs. R80 and R100. What the heck is this? It is a BMW C1 2004. 15 horsepower scooter. That is what? That is crazy. Has seat belts. Sended, intended to be a crossover vehicle to ease the transition from automobile to scooter. Four wheels to two. I see. Wow. This is nuts. Oh, the speedometer goes up to 130. I wouldn't be caught dead doing anything close to that on this one, but... Ah, oh, windshield wiper? Oh, look at that. It's got a nice trunk. But you know what? Disappointing. Disappointing. No cup holders. H2. H. Or as you in the land of the queen would say H H2 we say H you say H because there's a fucking H in it that's a joke stolen from Eddie Izzard love that guy's stand up look at this Galera CX what the what what Please tell me this bike was used in some future movie like Judge Dredd or something. What? This is crazy. Busa. And got some newer bikes here. Abrilia. Oh, what is this? Oh, man. Look at this. Moto Guzzi. Uh, super twin 1100 oh this looks beauty la verda 650 formula what the hell what an amazing looking bike too bad it sounds like baby food Oh yeah, did you get some Lavarda 650 formula for the baby? Oh yes, I got the 650 formula for the baby. Or Kawasaki KZ1000R. Mmm, limited production. Eddie Lawson was the guy who rode this bike. Or a similar bike. This is a reproduction oh man oh this is just I don't know what it is about this generation of Ducati the 916 the 996 the 748 I just I don't know I just love it I'm gonna own one one of these days that's for sure me too BMW HP2 R1200C look at this oh look at this oh my god FZR750 oh man what I gotta say out of all these all, all these era sports bike my fave my fave would definitely be the Ducati. Nope. It would be the Hondas. Man, this is the RC30. Ah, does that not look sexy? Oh, the VFRs, the VFRs. Good looking bikes. Look at that. Man, 
I'll tell you one thing. If I ever win the damn lotto, I'm making sure that I have a garage just like this for motorcycles. I mean, uh, I want to be the Jay Leno of motorcycles. You know, have a garage like his full of motorcycles and a few cars. Don't want to hate on the cars. I love cars. All right, down to the next floor. Bel Air. Look at this beauty. Nice. Perfect, perfect example. But onto the bikes. We're here to see the bikes. Amy, look at this. Amy. Maserati, man, I had no idea they made bikes. Look at that. Imagine how much it would cost today if they made bikes. Bet you they would be at least 30, 40 grand. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Would you like to see a Maserati bike in production again? Douglas Dragonfly. Nice. Look at that. This Honda Dream. This is definitely a cool place. If you've never been here, I don't know what you guys are thinking. You need to, need to come up in here. Look at this. Look at this Honda Cub. Showa Cruiser. Oh, look at this. NSU 251 OSL. I have no idea what that is, but anyway. Uh, looks like according to the plaque here, they were sewing machine makers in Neckarsulm. Neckarsulm. The NSU stands for Neckarsulm Strict Machinen Union. I wonder it looks like a BMW R bike. Look at that. It's like all the BMWs of the era. I mean, not BMWs, but all the German bikes of the era look just like this. Interesting. Triumph. What's this? Captain RTS. Nice. BMW Mondial MV Augusta. What is this? I thought this was an Indian or an old Harley. It is neither. What is this? Recool RT2. After 1929 Great Depression, Harley sold the manufacturing rights and toolings of their big twins to Rikuo in Japan to raise much needed cash. While the motor is basically the same, blah blah blah. 18,000 military versions were made for World War II Japanese Army. Look at that. Good job, Harley. Guys, tell me if you would have. If you would love to have a wall like this in your living room, throw a party, instead of putting up paintings, just have a wall like this. In your living room there, and this wall in your dining room. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be cool. All right, let's go around to the other side of the floor and see what they have stored up there. Well, do you want to take a guess what this is? Yep, another BMW. This is interesting. Indian Warrior. What the heck is that? 
Look at this. Aerial square four. What the heck is this? This is almost like I wouldn't want to be on the motorcycle end of this. I would want to sit on the inside. I mean, if there was a concept of being chauffeured around on a motorcycle, this is it. Look at this craziness. British bike, aerial. Look at this. You've got your own everything. Two passenger. Look at that. You even have a tray up there to put your belongings. They are beautiful looking bikes though. Look at this area right here. Look at the work. That looks nice. Super cool. Johnson Motor Wheel. Wizza. Schwinn Hornet. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Wow. Saginaw Power Bike. One and a half horsepower. Single carburetor, 25 miles per hour top speed. Marmon Twin, 1954. Ah, does that not look beautiful or what? Look at that. Amazing. Oh, look at this. A nice little... Nazi bike over here. I guess this is when they're going into Africa. U.S. government official use only. I wonder what this was for. Definitely, probably wasn't an ice cream scooter. Probably ammunition. Let's see. It was a delivery machine for the government, uh, for the uh, air bases or military bases. Triumph here, BSA for the British military, oh look at that, this is, this is a, what is this, FN military M13 for the Belgian military, for the Belgian military, Monet and Goyon. 1922 Look at this sweet looking bike Really interesting Setup here With the belt Look at this, Guinea. Who the heck is Guinea? Well, if you're wondering what or who is Guinea, well, there's a whole section here that says who is Guinea. It's a Harley Davidson. It's uh, for a specific person in Alabama who was in the military. Cool. And that's what that specific person looked like. Neat. What? What? 1955? Are you? Look at this. 
It was called the Vincent Amanda Water Scooter. What? Look at that. Look at that in there. Crazy. Nice. Zundap. Looks like it's got shaft drive. Look at this beautiful Indian. Look at that. I don't care if you're a Harley fan or you're a Honda fan. You've got to admit that these Indians had the best looking fairing front, I mean the front and rear fenders ever. Same here. What? Look at these bikes, man. These are like bicycles. 125 Grand Prix Italian bikes. It's crazy. Look at this. Oh, so good, so good. Let's go over on the other side of this floor and see what's what. All right, for all you Lotus fans out there, this was, as soon as you enter the building, pay for the tickets, this is on the right. I saved this for the last bit of the video. And got some amazing looking cars here. Mark 9, look at that. Lotus 17. Man, I can't even fit in that. This is a crazy Lotus collection right here. Crazy, crazy collection. Look at this one. Oh, it's the perfect color. British Racing Green. Oh, it's beautiful. It's the uh, Lotus 18 Formula Junior. It's the Lotus Mark 1. Mark two. Mark three. Kind of looks like a a bug eye, doesn't it? But I must say, out of all the marks, this one does look the prettiest. Mark four, right here. Look at this crazy, crazy wall right here. See this wall? Let's just, just, just look at the stuff they have collected here. It's ridiculous. Look at that. Look at all these little model cars. It is crazy. I think just their model car collection from every era is probably worth, I don't, I don't even know how much it would be worth. Hundreds of thousands, do you think? Goodness, hundreds of thousands of dollars, I am certain, if not more. That's crazy. Look at this. Oh, look at this beauty. Mark 10. Man. Mark was a pretty popular guy in Lotus. Corny joke. And forget it. Man, look at these beautiful Lotuses. Ah, oh, look at this one. Just looks beautiful. Look at that. This is something else, guys. You have to, have to take a minute and come out, look at these cars. Look at all these various formula type cars. Look at that. Goodness. Amazing. Okay. 
cars. Beautiful cars. Type 14's there. Type 26 R. 47. Type 30. Type 19. Amazing. Anyway, guys, that was it. Look at this. First car in here, Type 34, powered by Ford. Anyways, that's it, guys. Going into the souvenir shop to buy a couple of things, and we're going to sign off, head back to Atlanta before nightfall, hopefully. Adios.